Welcome back, Doom Tubers, to pickup video, small one, small scale pickup video. This is just the a few things I picked up in the last part of November, and um, yeah, probably won't be picking up anything else until you know Christmas is over and stuff like that. So you know, expect the next pickups type video to be you know Christmas related or post Christmas. So. Yeah, just I just picked up a few things. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, and most of it uh, fairly timely. Uh, first up um, is just uh, you know holiday classic movie um, that I saw at the Walmart for pretty cheap. I picked up the first three Home Alone movies, the only ones that matter, um, especially just the first two. I didn't hate the third one. Um, completely unrelated to the first two, um, in none of the same characters or family or anything like that, but it's still, it's not horrible, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not really the same as the first two, but it's, uh, it's certainly not horrible, but the first two, of course, uh, is where it's at, um, big fan of them, I, and, you know, it, it's, it's been, you know, fairly recently, um, where I actually considered, um, Home Alone, the Home Alone movies to be Christmas movies. Um, as a kid, I would just watch them any old time, you know, it didn't matter the time of year it was, it had to be Christmas time, uh, to watch Home Alone, so, um, yeah, it's been fairly recent, even though I knew it was Christmas, you know, during the movies, you know, it's just, I don't know, I never really consider them Christmas movies, because more or less they don't have a whole lot to do with Christmas, um, but still, uh, classic movies, and I treated myself to those, of course. And next up is uh, the only digital purchase aside from PS Plus games, which, you know, I don't, I know you don't really care what PS Plus games I downloaded. You know, you can just go see what was available and for PS Plus and know that I down, probably downloaded a couple of them. Um, I don't think there was anything crazy good this month. Um, but one digital purchase I did make was the DLC for Mario Kart 8, the first half of the DLC. Um, well, I guess I should say the first segment, I don't know if it's the first half, I don't know if there'll be more after, you know, the one that comes out in May or not, but it included three new characters and eight new tracks, which are fantastic, all eight new tracks are uh, pretty good, with um, the exception of maybe um, the Super Nintendo uh, Rainbow Road track, which I don't really care for, just because it's like, hard, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I I think it's actually maybe even, it's harder than uh, the other two Rainbow Road tracks that are on on here. Uh, the the new one and the N sixty four one were already on here, and I think those are both great. Um, but the Super Nintendo one, eh, it's it's a little it's a little rough. And then there's a couple of them that uh, that are good. I can tell that they're good tracks, but I personally just don't care for them as much. But overall, I'd say 7 out of 10, or excuse me, no, not 7 out of 10, uh, 5 out of 8, 5 out of 8 are really good, and the other 3 are just okay. Um, definitely worth, um, you know, the purchase, I think it's like 12 bucks if you commit to getting both section, segments of DLC, which, you know, is in total 6 characters and 16 tracks, um, or it's 8 bucks if you want to just get the ones that are available now, um, which is just, you know, of course, three characters and, and eight tracks. Um, the characters are nothing, you know, special, I guess, unless you, you know, really just want to race as Link, because there's Link, and then there is uh, Princess Peach in the cat suit, and then there is uh, Tanuki suit Mario. So it's like, there's nothing, you know, crazy good unless, you, you know, unless you were just really looking forward to uh, racing as Link, which is fine. And one of the new carts, of course, is like the... You know, master, master cycle or something like that. You know, it's Zelda themed, and I think there's a couple of other new cards too. So I mean, it, for it's it's really it's really got a lot um, of content for your money. So if you're a big fan of Mario Kart 8, I would definitely suggest that you um, grab the the new DLC because it's really really good. Okay, on with the actual physical pickups. I got a couple of used things and a couple of brand new purchases, which is kind of rare for me. Um, this is something that uh, I never thought that I would really be interested in, and 
I, I still don't know like if I'm if I'm all in yet, uh, but it's a fairly low investment at this point uh, to try out um, some you know, some of these you know last gen uh, series that have been around for a while. So I did pick up the first Assassin's Creed game. I had this before on 360, and I traded it away because um, I was really not interested. But I think this was under ten bucks, and uh, yeah, I just I mean I'm I'm not like. I don't know. I, I put it in and I've tried it a little bit and I've heard too like you know don't necessarily dismiss the series if you don't like the first one because the first one you know first one's the first one's a little bit rough they kind of refine things uh, with the second one and unfortunately I mean the series I thought I've always thought it was you know kind of a cool looking series you know on the outside but it's um, fallen victim to um, a lot of you know, similar to a lot of other series, you know, with yearly releases and things. Uh, but I will go ahead and give this the old college try and then eventually maybe uh, pick up the second one and uh, see where we see where we end up. But I don't hate it. Um, I have played it for a little bit, um, but I was kind of sick when I started it. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't really into it um, at the time. So I just ended up stopping. Uh, but I will give it some more time. Next up was in another extremely cheap purchase. Um, they did have to give me, or no, I actually had this case. Um, it was one of the disc only uh, games. I did pick up a copy of Duke Nukem Forever because I don't know. For as big a fan as of of you know silly first person shooters as I am, this can't be as bad as everyone says. But you know, then again, it probably is. But yeah, that's fine. Uh, for like you know like like three dollars something like that um it was kind of a you know it's a pretty low risk you know and so if i hate it i hate it but i'm gonna try it anyway uh because i like silly first person shooters so there we go Duke Nukem forever for the playstation 3 and i still haven't, I haven't printed a cover yet for that uh next up um i was i really wish that i would have had to the case for this one, but the price was just too good to just pass up. It's a DS game, uh, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. Um, I have one of the Dragon Quest Monsters games on the Game Boy Color, and I've played it a little bit, but not not enough to you know really judge you know whether I like the games or not. <laughs> but it's um, it's a good as far as I can tell from what I've played from this and what I've played from the other one. Um, and then what I, you know, footage I've seen and things like that, it's kind of a mishmash between Pokemon and the traditional Dragon Quest games. It's really not so dissimilar, like, you know, style, stylistically, you know, than the DS Dragon Quest games. You know, it's not, like, to look at, you know, in the overworld and kind of the way things work, it's not so different than, like, say, Dragon Quest IX, which, you know, is probably the most common DS game. Uh, so, like, if you can, if you can, if you can in, at least, you know, enjoy that, you know, the way Dragon Quest IX is, you know, with the way that the overworld works and your character and stuff like that, and the menus and everything, then you can, and then the Pokemon-esque aspects of it, you know, with the uh, monster collecting things, it's not so much like monster collecting, because, like, you can, you can end up with several of the same kind of monsters in your party, you know, and they just fight for you. It's not, it's not so much a, not as much of a collecting thing, but I do think there's, you know, like a, like a beastie or anything that you can fill up, um, you know, with different kinds of monsters. And I think that there's like, you know, maybe even some like combining of monsters and things like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I haven't gotten into it very much. So if someone else, you know, is more, uh, versed on the Dragon Quest monster games, uh, be sure to let me know. But, uh, for now, Six bucks was a pretty low, low risk, and I do want to try the games. So, Dragon Quest Monsters, Joker for the Nintendo DS. Here's another one. There's Joker 2 for the DS also, um, but I haven't got that one yet. Okay, last two are actually two uh, 2014 releases. So that's kind of strange. I went most of the year and without buying a whole lot of new releases, and I've bought several um, with just in the last... A few or my last couple months, you know, I got uh, of course Mario Kart 8 this summer, and I had Call of Duty Advanced Warfare earlier um, this month. 
you know, you know Diablo 3, Ultimate Evil Edition, a few other things. Um, but I did round up oh, for the awkward jump cut. Got a phone call, and then nature called, and uh, yeah, now I'm back. Okay, back where I left off. Rounding out the year, uh, rounding out the month, I guess. Picked up Pokemon Omega Ruby for the 3DS. Um, honestly, I didn't know which one to pick uh, between Ruby and Sapphire. And so ultimately it just came down to which one do I think, which Pokemon, which Legendary do I think looks cooler. Which I know is not necessarily the way to go sometimes. But whatever, I skipped this generation, I don't care. Um, and I think that uh, Groudon looks pretty freaking sweet. And uh, I think the name Omega Ruby just sounds cooler than Alpha Sapphire. So um, ultimately that was like the basis for my decision uh, to pick versions. Um, I think eventually I'd like to get both. But, you know, it, it kind of doesn't matter at this point. I can only play one at a time anyway. So I just went for Groudon because I want to use Groudon. So there, that's that's why I chose Omega Ruby. Um, I don't know when I'll get to start this. Um, I don't I don't know if I'll start this after I beat X, which I'm playing right now, or if I will wait and play either Platinum or White version before this. Um, I don't know. It feels kind of weird because I've played, you know. 90% of, of Platinum, like the main main story of Platinum before, um, but just one time, and it's been a long time, and I never beat it, so it's like, part of me really wants to go back and play that, and finish it, even though I never played, you know, even though I, I, I played it, you know, a lot um, before, but also, I would like to play a white version too, or white version also, um, because I have never played that generation either, so it's it's really kind of a toss-up. Do I want to go back and play um, one of the older games after beating X, uh, which is technically the newest game in the series, or if I want to um, play the farthest back generation uh, that I skipped? So I don't know. It uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference uh, to me really. Um, just happy to have it. I'm not really in a hurry. Uh, to finish um, them, although it would be nice to um, play a good portion of this um, before the end of the year, so I could maybe put it, you know, in a in a ranking um, for the end of the year. So maybe that's that's that's, that's maybe a good idea. We'll think about that. And the last game is uh, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Now, I wasn't really like. I really, I certainly wasn't, I wasn't actually planning on getting this. I kind of wanted to get it for, uh, to play, uh, in the AGP game night, which is ultimately why I picked it up, uh, so I could play with, um, other people, and, uh, I do, I don't necessarily regret that, but, uh, I, I did only, you know, you know, pull the trigger because, um, Whitney got some sort of a, a $15 off promo, code to use on anything uh, from Newegg.com, so I ended up getting this for 45 instead of 60 bucks, which I think ultimately was, you know, what made the the final decision uh, to pick it up a little bit easier, is that I didn't have to pay full price, um, because, I don't know, I just, I, I don't know if I'm the biggest Smash Brothers fan, uh, I never really played it, other than, you know, just a couple of times on the N64 with friends, and... Uh, like once on the GameCube, so it's you know it's seriously I've probably played it for a total of like thirty minutes my whole life, you know, and you know so I wasn't necessarily looking forward to it, um, like some other people were, um, you know I, I've I've seen a lot of Smash Brothers, so I know what kind of game it is, and I just wasn't convinced it was something I needed to play because it just seems a little bit too chaotic, and and even after playing it. Um, the default controls are really kind of just don't make all the sense to me. It's, it's because I'm not used to it, you know, and I, I'm I'm aware of this. And I'm not I'm not actually bashing the game. Um, I'm certainly not I'm not going to say anything negative about the game because, you know, it's it's just I'm I'm well aware it's me. You know, it's just not it's it's just maybe not my thing. But default on the controller, you know, there's two jump buttons. To, you know, it's like the, the Y and the X button are both jump. 
and then the B button is your special attack. Your your A button is your regular attack. Your the the two bumpers are both um, the shield, and the two triggers are both um, the grab. And then the right analog stick is mapped to the smash attacks or you know your other special attacks, and it's just it just seemed like a really odd decision um, to double up three buttons on the controller, three buttons to make them duplicate commands as other things on the controller, and then also make the smash attacks map to an analog stick and then also to press up to jump is another thing too so I'm used to up to jump I'm okay with up to jump it's it's a little bit more tricky to double jump with up being jump especially like if you're accidentally holding up and you're also trying to jump with one of the buttons it just kind of it just it's awkward like I and a big thing of this game is, you know, staying on the platform, not falling off the sides. And if you're not good at the jumping, which I'm, I'm really not, if you're not good at that, you're going to fall off a lot. And uh, that's, you know, f you know, at the very beginning is my, my biggest issue is uh, staying on the platform. Um, I, I think I would rather... Um, the smash attacks be mapped to a button um, and maybe jump just being up for me um, because I'm used to that in you know tons of other fighting games you know there's no jump button you know up is jump uh, in fighting games typically um, so I don't know I'm not really bashing it it's just it's just I'm not as familiar with the controls and you can customize the controls to some degree. I don't know. I haven't tried, you know, a lot. I've, I've really only played probably four or five hours of this um, all total now, uh, including, you know, with the game night and then on my own. Probably just about probably just about five hours of this game. And I haven't toyed around with the controls too much. Um, it, it's one of those things where you actually have to pick your profile. So if you forget to pick your profile after you've remapped the buttons, then... You have to go through the whole match uh, with the buttons the way they were before. So, I don't know. It's almost like I want to just try to get used to the default button layout without actually, you know, trying to change anything to see if I can get used to it, which I might be able to. So, it's uh, it's something I'm going to, to put some more time into um, for sure uh, because it is fun. You know, I'm not saying it's not fun at all. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you know, maybe it's not for me necessarily uh maybe it's something i don't know it's it's i it's it's one of those things too it's like i don't want to i don't want to just immediately just get rid of it you know to you know while it, while get while the getting's good you know sell it while i can still get some money out of it um because nintendo games really kind of hold their value anyway so it's not like something i could sell now for higher and go, you know, buy later on for cheap, you know, it's, it's not going to work like that, if I sell it now and buy it later, I'm probably going to end up, uh, you know, evening out and spending about the same amount of money, so, I don't know if I want to keep it, because, like I said, I can get good money out of it, but I'd hate to get rid of it and have a lot of people that want to play it, uh, because I don't hate it, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. And I sound like I'm repeating myself a lot. Um, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, I, it's definitely not going to be my game of the year. Um, and I certainly don't want to sound like a negative Nancy because it is it is fun. It's it's beautiful. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And the multiplayer is fun even if you're not like very good at it. It, it is fun to play with people. I think ultimately though, it's not like um, a Street Fighter for me, which where I could play by myself you know, a lot, and be totally cool with it, um, it's definitely going to be maybe a more of a multiplayer kind of a thing, uh, the online isn't, isn't great, at least with what we did the other night, it's not ideal, but it's not, it's not super horrible either, um, it's kind of limited though, there's, there's some other, um, 
he looked like the eight person smash that you can't do online and there's like some other features that the single player game has that you can't do online um, so it's I don't know it is what it is it's Super Smash Brothers Wii U um, if you're a Smash fan you'll probably love it and if you're not a Smash fan at all I, I can't really recommend it um, if you're new to Smash, you know, I have no idea what to tell you. Because I'm new to Smash, and, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not horrible. But, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's that's about it, like I said, for um, for the foreseeable, you know, immediate future. You know, until probably after Christmas or, you know, some other Christmas-related kind of thing going on. I mean, that would be about... Uh, the only other pickup videos um, that I have coming up. Um, as far as right now, the only thing planned um, besides, you know, my rambling uh, videos. Um, of course, the end of the year uh, video, game of the year, and also the 2014 uh, releases kind of recap for me. Because um, I, I really didn't buy too much, uh, too many um 2014 releases so it'll be kind of an easy easy uh, easy thing to go over you know just not a whole lot uh, but the game of the year should be interesting um, I played some some doozies some doozies this year um, so yeah I still want to do a room tour at some point and uh, that'll I guess that'll be my my 400 subscriber special, I did hit 400 subs, which I, I am not making a big deal out about, uh, even though I do really appreciate it. It's super awesome uh, to hit 400 subs. Um, you know, I know it's not necessarily like a huge milestone, um, but, you know, when you're doing this uh, literally because, you know, it's fun, you know, sharing the love, you know, talking to people. When, I, when you're doing it because of that, you know, having 400 subscribers is kind of a huge deal uh, because it's like 400 people you know at least at some point have said hey i like this guy and that's that's really cool so um thank you if you did watch my last loot crate uh video i do have um at least one thing to give away which is not you know anything super special um i will remind you i, I i'll do a little maybe a little giveaway at some point um you know i i've got some stuff i can give away um, so one of the things is a uh, PC code for uh, Super Street Fighter uh, Ultra, no, not Ultra, Arcade Edition, Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition uh, from Steam. So that's pretty cool. If uh, you're interested in that, stay tuned. Might do a, a little bit of a contest at some point. And yeah, I got some other things to give away. So I don't want to do like a huge contest, but yeah, whatever. Maybe it'll be on Facebook, uh, on the on the AGP page. I don't know. It might not be, you know, specific to my channel. You know, it's just not, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I'm not gonna. It's not a it's not a 400 sub contest. It's nothing like that. Just uh, want to spread the love a little bit because uh, you know I've I've gotten a lot of things uh, in the mail um, from a lot of you folks um, this year. Well, last year, this year, you know, it's just been crazy uh, with people. Uh, this sharing with me and it's just really really awesome and i want to make sure I, I pay it forward as best i can and uh what better way to do it than to just give away some stuff so at some point stay tuned we'll uh we'll talk about that at some other time so anyway uh thanks for watching this uh pickups video um if you played smash what do you think you know if you love it hate it what well, you want to play it i'll play it with you uh, if anybody wants to play anything that uh, you know I I play uh, hit me up Advanced Warfare on on uh, PS3 or uh, Mario Kart 8 or Smash on Wii U definitely playing the F11 crap out of those right now especially Mario Kart I've been at really really loving Mario Kart especially with the DLC I've oh man I play a lot of Mario Kart in the last I don't know two weeks another thing um, I I uh, I did recorded a video about this, and uh, uh, it'll probably go up after this video. But I did beat this game, Reaper of Souls. Um, so if anybody has Reaper of Souls on the Xbox 360 and wants to play, please, 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 please hit me up because I would love an excuse to go back and play some more Diablo 3 
on the 360. Or even on PS3. Vanilla, if you want to play a vanilla version on PS3, hit me up. It's freaking love Diablo. And we love an excuse to play it again. So, I've rambled on long enough. So, thank you for watching. Doom Waves, out!